Alright guys, so what we have on the bench today are three new rock crawlers uh, just finished up. Um, well, finished up. There's probably a few more uh, touch-ups and tweaks I need to do to a couple of them and then take them on a test drive. But for now, we're calling them 98.32% done. Alright guys, so what we got on the bench today, we've got a TRX4 Sport Builder's Kit. We've got two Element Enduro V2 um, Builder's Kits that we've built up. And these trucks are not for me. Um, sad to say, um, as gorgeous as these trucks came out, um, you know, pat on the back. <laughs> but as good as these trucks look and as proud of them as I am, these guys are going to Operation 11 Charlie as donations. Um, thankfully, I have some really, really great friends uh, who were able to help out once again to help fund the builds. Um, we, we did great. Um, you know, three, three trucks to go off to them to... Uh, put these trucks in the hands of deserving vets to help them uh, cope and deal with their PTSD issues and hopefully um, keep anybody from uh, leaving here too soon. You know, um, it's I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to give these trucks away to the to Operation Lemon Charlie and put them uh, to good use. As much as I like to keep them and play with them for myself, um, you know, they'll, they'll be much, much better used there. And, you know, I've got a couple toys behind me to play with already. So real quick, let me bring you down. Let me get you some up close of the three different trucks real fast, and we'll wrap this one up. All right, guys, so this is the TRX4 Sport Kit. Um, so, you know, it didn't go crazy on the body. Um, thought about putting some pinstripes on. But, you know, I wanted it to look more like just, you know, your real truck. Like somebody bought their truck, put a lift kit on it, put some tires on there, did some off-road rack, and is ready to kind of take this on like an overland adventure. You know, I didn't want to get too dolled up with, you know, making cool graphics on it and everything. Um, that, and it's got, it's hard to see in the, in the video, but it does have like a metallic um, silver paint to it. Look, really pops in the sunshine. Um, I did add some um, details to the painted stuff, or the tools and stuff inside. So we have a shovel and an axe and the, the um, fire extinguisher and stuff. The jack on the other side. So I put some extra details on that to kind of... Put as much flair on it as I could, but you know, didn't want to go hog wild and kind of still had a limited budget uh, to go with. But inside, we've got the, ten, the Hobby Wing 1080, very capable uh, ESC. We've got the Holmes Hobby um, 550 12 turn um, Crawlmaster motor in it. Uh, again, these are the, the same motors I've run in my rigs. These things do awesome dirt, mud, grime, water, whatever. They seem to be more or less bulletproof. Um, we've got a 35 kg servo in the front, uh, metal servo horn, so just test driving it, um, we'll test it out. The servo has a lot of torque and it's super quick, so that's nice. Um, other than that, we basically have stock, yeah, more or less everything. Wheels, we've upgraded from the plastic glue-on wheels to a set of aluminum beadlocks, but we're still running the factory tires. Still have the factory foams in here, they're a little stiff, but I'm hoping they'll break in. Um, but, you know, the guys that are going to get these are probably going to tune on them and play with them and stuff. Um, so, you know, upgrading a set of foams is, is relatively cheap. And with the bead locks, you know, pretty quick and easy. So one other bit of detail I did is I made an actual rope going around the fake winch. You know, if you're going to put a fake winch on there, um, put a better sticker on it. <laughs> uh, it has a sticker on it. It's, it's all right. Yeah, here's the factory one. You know, it's, it's okay. It looks like rope or whatever, but basically I did put um, actual rope around it and painted it and everything, so it actually looks like a coil of steel cable in there. But that's TRX4, nothing glamorous, um, anything like that. It's just your standard TRX4 kit, 1080, Holmes motor, and a little bit of additional paint. So let's take a look at the Raptor. All right, here we've got the Proline Ford Raptor body on top of the Element Enduro V2 Builder's Kit. So we had to buy a body for this. Um, my local hobby shop had the um, Raptor body in stock. I've done a Raptor body for myself personally prior. Um, I like the look of them. I love this center grill section. It looks awesome. The only downside to these is it has a sunroof, the huge windshield, the huge side windows, and the back window. So on this one, I decided to actually smoke the uh, windows out so all of them are blurred out enough to where you know in the sun it just kind of looks like everything is tinted up nicely 
Um, otherwise, I probably would have left the front um, clear. I do have to back paint uh, around the, the windshield uh, with black, but I, I can go back in with a brush and do that. Uh, but otherwise, the body looks nice and sharp. Um, all the lines came out nice and crisp. Really happy about that. Uh, but the meat and potatoes. So the meat, meat and potatoes of this one is kind of the same. We have aluminum bead lock wheels. Uh, we've got a set of knockoff um, Hyrax tires. We've got a 35 kg servo, 1080 speed controller, and the same Holmes motor in this. Um, the only thing on this that we did different than the stock kit is on the back, I had to buy the V1 uh, Enduro bumper mounts. Uh, the V2 ones make no sense to me at all. There's no way to put a standard, quote, standard bumper into it. It, it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, um, front and rear are the Vanquish uh, bumpers. Uh, they work great. Uh, it fits the front of the truck really well. It's the exact width of the truck in the back. And on the back, you can put, you know, your little uh, D-ring or it has a tow hitch. Um, I upgraded the D-rings to metal ones just because it looks more realistic. Um, but not a whole lot going on with this kit. Um, it's again, it's basically stock. Um, I was going to put the motor up here, but there was, I don't know, I just felt down here was more normal and I really didn't think about it until after I mounted it down here. Um, but Mounting it up here was going to have motor wires either going underneath the battery tray somewhere or over top of the battery tray. So I just tidied everything up the best I could and left it that way. And, you know, a 1080 doesn't weigh really enough in a rig this big to really make a weight bias difference. So I think it's great where it's at. It's waterproof. Um, the on off switch is nice and easy to get to. You don't have to remove the body. You can literally just reach up underneath uh, behind a skin and turn it on and off. Um, I know I gave the review of the Element Kits kind of a bad rap uh, when I did the review on them. Um, that was mainly for the instructions and this ridiculous rear bumper mount thing that they had on here. Um, but the truck itself feels like a very stout kit. Um, I think the upgrades they did to it for you know only charging $10 more for the kit, it's a phenomenal deal. So if you're thinking about getting a truck, I think... This is a great platform to go off of, and apologies to you know Element for giving it kind of a crap review um, based off the instructions, but you know I'm not going to beat that dead horse again. All right, let's go check out the the last truck. All right, guys, this is the third truck, and a quick peek underneath of the body shows we have the identical setup to the last truck. Same Vanquish bumpers, same electronics. Same wheels, same tires, you know, basically built two identical trucks, just topping them with different bodies. So this body is the, the Proline 1978 uh, Chevy K10. Um, so it's a cool old Chevy square body. Uh, Looks got the step side. This is a two-piece body, so it is joined together inside with nuts and bolts. So the one interesting thing with this one is I did not want to lose the... I did not want to lose that front bumper on here, um, but there was no good way to run it with the bumper. So basically, I was able to back trim the bottom of the bumper mount just enough to smash this bumper all the way in. I had to drill two new holes here um, to catch different mounting holes to suck this in as far back as I possibly could. And that allows the bumper to ride right behind the bumper. And I know half of you guys out there are screaming at me right now. Well, that's going to rub all your paint off. Ah, I already thought about that. So inside here where the bumper rubs, I glued in a piece of scrap Lexan that I cut off one of the wheel wells or something off the body. I don't remember. Um, so this is just shoe glued in uh, to the back. And if any rubbing happens on the front of this bumper, you know, it's not going to rub the paint off of the truck. And if anybody noticed, uh, the bed has an incredible paint job or uh, lack of paint job because that's actual real wood. Um, I was going to paint the whole bed black um, just 
black it out, you know, it's just a truck bed. But it had the molded in ridges for like a wood slat um, truck. So I decided, okay, we'll just paint everything chrome. And then I had some mahogany veneer and we cut the mahogany and veneer into strips and just spray glued it into place. And the way I did that was basically before I peeled off the wrap, I cut out each individual little area in the protective film on top of the body. Once all the areas were removed, I had all my slats cut, I sprayed all the slats, and then I quickly sprayed the bed, peeled the plastic off, and that left me with perfect um, Lexan where the slats were not going to be, so I didn't have to clean up anything. That worked really, really well. I do need to seal these so, you know, if it gets wet, obviously it will, that the wood won't start to crack up and buckle. But I'm sending the guys some extra little strips in there in case they do get damaged. They can just, um, you know, super glue them in at that point. Um, it does have cool little um, separate tail lights on the back. And with this big bumper sticking out back here, I wasn't too concerned about putting these on. Um, they are kind of a pain in the ass to put on. Um, but they actually make the back of the truck look really, really nice. So this one came out really nice. I like this one. Um, it's Again, it's hard to pick up on camera. This is a custom color I made up. This is the Proline Deep Metallic Blue. And the Proline, I think, just regular Vibrant Blue or Blue. Um, basically, it's the blue that the the Raptor was painted and um, it's almost like a slate gunmetal gray blue um, but I added the other blue in here to brighten it up a little bit so it wasn't so dark and it came out really really nice it's got an, enough metallic in it still showing but it brightened it up really nice um, obviously I can't get you guys an in-person look but the camera hopefully picks up enough of it uh, to where you can tell but regardless that's the third truck all right guys that's the three trucks um hope it didn't get too rambly in there i know two of the trucks are pretty much identical so i did not want this video to come off as me patting myself on the back um at all uh this was a group effort um i had a group of really great friends who helped pitch in and help fund these trucks um, it's going to a really, really great cause at Operation Lemon Charlie. If you're not familiar with Operation Lemon Charlie, please go down the links below, check them out, um, visit their YouTube page, uh, visit their Facebook page, um, their website, everything. Um, you know, what they're doing is a really, really great cause, and how they're going about it is a really, really cool way of doing it. Uh, essentially, using RC trucks as a tool to help get veterans out of the house that are dealing with PTSD and similar issues. Um, get them out, get them focused on something other than what they're going through and get them into a new hobby where they can go out, make new friends. All of them are veterans. So, you know, they're going on trail runs with other veterans. Um, it's, it's an amazing group of guys. Um, I'm truly humbled to be able to help out. And I really, really want to thank all my friends. Um, hopefully they're all watching this video. They sh they're supposed to be. Uh, they're supposed to be good friends and watching my videos. Uh, but you guys know who you are. There are some who want to remain anonymous, so I'm not going to name any names. But all of you guys are amazing, whether you guys donated $10 or $100 or whatever. Um, obviously, anybody watching these videos know how, knows how much money goes into building a essentially ready to run um, RC truck uh, with decent electronics and a good motor and all that stuff and you know custom paint and all that stuff you know it's not it's not a cheap hobby to get into and that's why I'm trying to help out um, so I'm, uh, I'm just trying to encourage you guys to go check them out learn more about them um, you guys don't have to help out financially uh, they do have their own GoFundMe uh, at their website um, but if you guys just share the information, share the videos of theirs, um, just get it into the, the line of sight of more people, uh, like their videos, give them thumbs up, uh, that way more people get pitched their videos and stuff, uh, it'd make a tremendous uh, stride in, in helping out. So again, not, not wanting to make a whole stink about it, I just want to show you guys the new trucks, um, explain why we built the new trucks, 
kind of send some thanks out to the folks that helped out on my end. And also just want to say thank you guys at Operation 11 Charlie. What you're doing is amazing. I'm fully on board to help you guys out. And um, I'm going to do my best to, you know, recruit some more people your way and uh, to get more help in the hands, uh, get more help to you guys so um, you guys can do as much as possible. Anyway, guys, um, now that I've got these three trucks built, um, that's taken up the last, you know, week and a half of my time on and off after work, uh, either building or painting. Um, I do have a couple more videos coming um, soon. Uh, I've got another Tamiya kit to put together and uh, take that out for a spin, bash that around a little bit and see how that goes. And, um, you know, a couple other things. Uh, but I hope you guys liked it. Um, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, drop me a comment. I love reading you guys' comments and, and uh, responding to you guys down below. With that said, everybody out there, be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I'll catch you next time. See you guys.